everyone, Killswitch423 here, back for more Mass Effect with Nicadia. Hello. Alright, I got a level up here, so let's see. Description. Barrier and throw, me thinks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do 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 Anyone else up, or is it just Shepard? Uh, here, I don't remember. Can I do that here? I think I can... Uh, I have to wait till they're in the party with me. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. That's, that's actually kind of useless. But whatever. This game was made back in the day. We will not judge it. 2008. Hey, Commander. That's Hello. Still back. <laughs> Hello, Ashray. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. What came part first? Of me feels guilty over what happened. This or Dragon Jenkins Age? Was still alive. One. I might not be here. Can't remember. This. Uh huh. I'm 99% positive it was this. At least I played this first, so I'm pretty sure this, this came out first. Like I'm like 95%. I'll look it up. You're a good soldier, William. You're recording. You belong on the Normandy. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate that. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before comes with being a marine but to see my whole unit wiped out and you never get used to seeing dead civilians but things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't have shown up we couldn't have done it without you Williams thanks Commander. November 3rd 2009 I have to admit I was a little worried about being Dragon assigned Age. to the Normandy mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's this nice when someone makes you feel so. welcome I think you're gonna fit in here just fine Williams thanks Commander Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. You too, buddy. Alright. Why not rob everyone's lockers? <laughs> We're gonna take a quick little... T oh no, I remember now. You can equip everybody by going down to their lockers on the lower level. Aha! We figured it out. I didn't have to look up anything. I'm just gonna go around and meet everybody here for the game. Mm -hmm. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. 
Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Just don't need any of that stuff? No, I've already... I made sure before I, uh... I'm down here to check everyone's equipment. Plus, they throw loot at you in this game like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now to buy all Mark Fives. You can't buy stuff back. Just buy back. Okay. Just they oversimplified it. I see. Well, buyback is just it's its own menu. Uh, not that. It's just I mean like they streamlined it. Yeah. So yeah, I can go here and change people's equipment like loadouts. Um, I'm gonna turn tutorials back off because they're kind of starting to annoy me. I just needed them on for the controls at the beginning, and now that I have them in the controls, I don't need to do this anymore. Okay. Onward to the lands of adventure. And pancakes. Shame about Jenkins, Commander. Engineer Adams. He is a good man. The stuff. Are you on the Normandy yet, or no? This is this is the Normandy. Oh. Yeah, this is the Normandy SR1. Seems larger than I remember. It's more open than uh, the then, SR2 and SR3. Yeah. But it's it's pretty much the same size, just more open. Yes. Actually, doesn't the Normandy, the SR2, get upgraded to like a Twice the, so the SR1, this one gets blown up. Yeah. And then, then Cerberus builds the SR2, which seems a little bit bigger, but it's it's not much. The layout's pretty much the same, except things are moved around a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, Especially with that huge hollow room. And then the Alliance retrofits the SR2 into the SR3. So. Hmm. Kind of interesting to me that you, you've uh, you never you skipped this one. Like, hmm. I can't believe I still can't believe you skipped this one. Yes. I mean that's kind of cool because now you can just you can watch this with me and experience all this fun stuff. Yeah. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. But I have future knowledge. Mm. Your knowledge will ruin you. Doesn't make this game any less amazing. Mm-hmm. I mean, if people haven't played it yet, they probably should. Really? Like, what are you doing? Stop watching. Go go play these games. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Isn't he the same pilot for all three ships? Yep. What is his name? Joker. Yeah, Joker. Jeff Joker Moreau. Voiced by Seth Green. That's a ship I haven't built yet. The Normandy in in the Carol Space Program. Because <laughs> I built the Kalmus from uh, Star Ocean. Look at the that size worked of that really ship. Well. The Ascension, flagship of the Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower too. Look at that monster! Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. I love more Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. The Roger, Normandy is a Alliance prototype. Tower, uh, Normandy out. Prototype build. Yeah. There's like Earth and alien tech. Normandy, this right. is Alliance Yeah, tower. human Please and Turian. The Turians helped design it. Mm -hmm. Who also 
semi-designed the uh, Citadel, was it? No, 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 no. The, the Citadel was already here. The Citadel well, was yeah, here yeah, for this, millions of okay. years. Yeah. The Asari found the Citadel. Of this current, like, cycle, this is an the outrage. Asari are the ones who found the, the Citadel. The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians mm. don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems. He's Ambassador. alive. Humanity mm. was well aware of the risks when no, you came to the Traverse. Space. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action. You don't get to make demands of a Council Ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Seren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. That's something that we need to invent Captain Anderson. in real I life. You brought Full half body your crew communicators. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. Well, yes. It'll also in probably save invested. on, like... I have the mission reports. I don't I know. That's the mission attempts they during are. meetings. Hmm. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us know. an audience. They were not happy about it. Sarah is like, the top agent. Hostile. They don't like him being accused of treason. <laughs> Saren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance I mean, to get in. You're already a captain. You were, you could retire. And that's why I hate now. politicians. With a nice pension. Talking about Anderson, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, he, he doesn't need to be on, on the... Uh, It's called on the council. Mm -hmm. Captain Henderson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argus Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Interesting data to have. May mm. or may not lead to a side quest later. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. I mean, if that's cool. If not, nah. I like the aliens' designs, as they're always bizarre. This is Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted look, it's right now. Like Java with legs. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Who's this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Sha'ira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Hey there, Keeper. How you doing? I like how the dwarves know you're coming. Most stores know you're coming. <laughs> I guess some areas they don't want to auto load, but that's just too hard on the system for back in the day. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please, access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? 
What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Welcome. Like how it doesn't change your name at all. Allow me to be your guide. What? Like how it doesn't change her name at all. She gave a name and yet it didn't change it. She's still known as Embassy re Reporter. Or, uh. Oh. Receptionist. Yeah, I mean, it's. No. Greetings and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So, are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Program to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Yeah, by Please the way, the Citadel is the Citadel. huge in this one. You spend a lot of time here. Mm -hmm. It's pretty big back in 2 as well. I remember getting lost a couple times. It's not nearly as big as it is here. Oh, yes, I agree. I think get lost in two. They spent way too long lost here. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. I love their speech pattern. Like the fact that they don't express emotion through their voice. They talk to each other through pheromones, so they have to um, uh, pre preface their statements with the intended emotion. Yep. It's a nice touch. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. And then translators. Mm. That's gonna be very difficult to translate from their native tongue. Yeah, um, the... Although it is convenient that the universe has learned the universal language of English. Uh, actually no, according to the codex here... You do have a translator, do you? Yep, uh... Biotics is the ability of rare... Omni-tools are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, and many factoring fabric... The Omni-tool. Such a useful thing. And reliable. An omni -tool so many uses. ...to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. Basically, yeah, it's module can rapidly your Omni-tool. Everyone's Omni-tool is also a... Excellent from common industrial yeah. plastics. Ceramics. I'm not looking. I'm not looking at the I'm doing the things. Yeah, I don't know where it is in the codex, but probably in secondary. Actually, technology. Yeah. Anyway, back to. Oh, I should That's probably great. actually upgrade uh, level people up. Okay, Kaiden. Um. How many episodes are you in so far, anyway? I can't remember. I believe this will be episode four. Okay. I believe. Four. Anyway. Um. Let's get you. One second. Barrier. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get. And you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. 
What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Okay. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Oh, boy. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? What have you got? Information, mostly. Would you like to know about some points of interest nearby? What's going on around here? Well, you found the embassies. Not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier, all at the same time. Goodbye. <laughs> so, so long, long Commander. Parents. Have a pleasant day. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be tossed out the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. <laughs> she's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk? I didn't say that. Ha! Mm. I bet you did too. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never went to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. Any favorite NPCs? Like, uh, follower NPCs yet? Followers? Mm. Um, well, my favorites are always Tally and Garrus. I mean... Tally, Garrus, Rex is amazing. All the followers are great. Mm-hmm. They all do a great job. Gonna be here for a while. Mm -hmm. There's fish in that lake. Probably. Some are probably a couple jet generations from a time long past type of fish thing. Unless they were important. Uh, don't mind me, everybody. I'm just casually apparently pulling my weapon out. Whoops. I don't have binoculars, so I'll just use the scope. Don't mind me, I'm pointing it at you for no reason other than to have a closer look. I mean, look at the guy in the window. He has a sniper rifle. I just want to be sure I'm not seeing that wrong. I just I'm... made a super sweet circle for no mm -hmm. apparent reason. Ah. 
this way. If I remember correctly, that's a taxi. Ah. Excuse you. Yep, sorry. Cut Ooh. the end of that one, or at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually reaching time. So, next episode, we're going to do some exploring uh, of the Citadel and uh, see what there is to be at here, because it's a big place! So, oh, look at all the flying cars. In any case, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Toodles!